Hello, I'm Pat, and today we're checking out how to play the Spirit Carries On by Dream Theater. Of course, the song has a great solo by John Petrucci, but I think the rhythm part is often overlooked, and there are some great things to learn in it too. Uh, notably, some very interesting chord shapes, as well as some very nice harmonic movements between chords. So let's get started and check out how to play the rhythm part of the song. Okay, let's start off with the verse. It goes like this. One, two, three... Okay, so the chords first. First chord is a D. Nothing on the two thicker string. 0, 2, 3, 2. I'm using finger 1, 3 and 2. Then we've got a D with the F sharp on the bass. Which is basically a D but your thumb reaches the second fret, 6th string. And your 5th string is muted. For the 3rd, the F sharp is on the bass. That's why it's called a D with the F sharp on the bass. Then we've got a G. Which is 3, 2, 0, 0, 3, 3. I'm using figure 2, 1, uh, 3, and 4. Uh, you could also play this G. 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. But I think it makes more sense to play this G. Since you come from the D with the F sharp on the bass. And then this transition is easier in my opinion. But you could play this G too if you want. Uh, then we've got a D again. And then we've got this very nice D with a C sharp on the bass. So it's a D, but your fourth finger, which is the fourth fret, fifth string. Your sixth string is muted, and your fourth string is muted too. Then you get a B minor, which is nothing on a thicker string. You bar the second fret with your first finger, and then you get two, four, four, three, three. Then you've got this uh, lovely B minor with an A on the bass. So you lift your uh, first finger, the A string is open, then you get 4, 4, 3 and 2 with your first finger. And nothing on the thicker string. And then the uh, next chord is an E with a G sharp on the bass. Which is 4, nothing on the thicker string, 2, 4, 5, nothing on the first string. I'm using finger 3, 1, um, sorry, I'm using finger 2, 1, 3, and 4. This chord is a bit tricky if you never played it before, so my advice is that you uh, first start off by playing this shape and then reach the fourth fret with the second finger. So it's a knee with the G sharp on the bass because the G sharp is here, with the third, it's on the bass. And then we've got this uh, A sus4 and A chord. So um, the way I'm playing it here is I bar my first thing with my first uh, finger on the second fret, uh, fourth, third and second string, and my fifth string is open. And then my third finger which is the third fret second string so we've got a is 4 and a you could also play the more traditional way which is uh, using finger 2 3 and 4 just up to you i'm used to playing that way but if if you're more comfortable that way then just do it that way okay so let's review the chords first so we've got d D with the F sharp on the bass, G, D, D with the C sharp on the bass, B minor, B minor with the A on the bass, E with the G sharp on the bass, A sus4, A. Okay? Now the time signature is a 12-8. Uh, which basically means that there are 12 eighth notes within the bar. So you count 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. 
Okay, so let's try to play um, simple downstrings first. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Okay? Um, now, the rhythm that John Petrucci plays is a little bit more complicated. So, if you're playing downstream first, check out the right hand. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Try this with me. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Four, two, three. If you introduce the upstreams, you will have one and two and three and two and two and three and three and two and three and four and two and three and. Okay? The rhythm that John Petrucci plays is this one. One, two and three, two, two and three and one, two and three, two, two and three and one, two and three, two, two and three and one. Down. Up down down, up down up down, up down down, up down up down, up down down, up down up down, up down down, up down up down. With a D, down, up down down, up down up 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 down. Okay. So you always keep your hand moving. It's a big secret. If you want to play rhythm guitar, always keep your hand moving. Okay, so let's try to play uh, the old verse now with this rhythm. Okay, so it's one, two, and three, two, two, and three, and down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Here we go. One, two, three, two, two. Three, three, two, three, four, two, three, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, down. So there are a lot of very nice harmonic movement between chords throughout the whole song. And especially for the verse, uh, you might have noticed that uh, the bass goes like this. Very nice harmonic movement. Okay, so let's check out the chords for the chorus now. There are two different chord progression for the chorus. The first time the chord progression goes like this. One, two, three.
Okay. So first chord is a G. This time I'm playing it 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. But you could also play it this way. 3, 2, 0, 0, 3, 3. Just up to you. Then we've got the A chord. So it's nothing on the thicker string. 0, 2, 2, 2, 0. I'm using figure 2, 3 and 4. Sometimes I'm playing it that way too with the bar. With my first finger. Just up to you there. Then we've got a D. Same D as before. Then a D with a C sharp on the bass. Same shape as the one we've seen in the verse. Then B minor. Same shape as the one we've seen in the verse. Then G. Then E minor. 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. Using finger 2 and 3. And then. D. Then we've got this very interesting chord shape. It's a, it's an A with a D on the bass. It's like you have this A bar chord, but you're just playing the three high notes. So it's um, open D string, six, five, five. And I'm using finger two and my first finger bar the Two thinner string. Okay. So it's a D, it's an A, sorry, but with a D on the bass. So it's very nice to me. Okay, so we got D, D with an A on the bass, uh, A with a D on the bass, sorry. Then we've got uh, G, E minor again, then D again. Again, A with the D on the bass, and G, then again, A6-4, and A. Okay, so let's try to play the whole thing, just slowly. Uh, again, the rhythm, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. I'm just playing downstream first. One, two, three, G, G, a, A, T, D with the C-sharp on the bass, E minor, G, E minor, D, A with the D on the bass, G, E minor, Bass, G, A is 4, A. Okay, with just a basic rhythm, it goes like this. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, if we play the same rhythm that we've learned in the verse, it goes like this. So the rhythm down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Down, a down, 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 down
Okay, the second time, the chorus is just a little bit different. Um, it goes like this. That's a chorus that goes into the bridge. So uh, it's a little shorter and uh, a little bit simple, simpler. So we've got G, A, and D. D with its sharp on the bass, B minor, G, then A instead of E minor. Then D, and the last chord is a D7, which is nothing on the second string, 0, 2, 1, 2. I'm using figure 2, 1, and 3. So it's like a, a D in mirror. Okay? So with the rhythm, 1, uh, sorry, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 2, and 3, and, okay? Here we go. Down. Up down, down, up down, down, up down, down, up down, up down, up down, down, up down, up down, up down, down, up down, up down, up down, 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 up down, 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 so the bridge goes like this. One, two, three. Okay, so the chords. E minor. Zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. Um, then we've got uh, this E flat chord, which is nothing on the thicker string, six, eight, eight, eight. I'm using finger one and I'm playing a bar with my third finger, on the fourth, third, and second string. But you could also play that way, using finger uh, two, three, and four. And we've got a D. Then we've got this E with the G sharp on the bass that we've seen before. Then G, using the shape with the uh, third, second, and the fourth finger. And then E minor. So I'm using the same pattern, the same rhythm pattern, and it goes like this one, two, three, down, and down. Called is a B minor, which goes into the solo part of the song, uh, which has a lot of chords to memorize. So we've got to take it uh, slowly. Uh, the first chord is a B minor, and we've got a B flat, which is uh, nothing on a thicker string. One, three, three, three. Finger one and a little bow with my third finger on the. Fourth, third, and second string. You could also play this way too, with your second, third, and fourth string. Then we've got a D. Then we've got the E with the G sharp on the bass. The same chord shapes as before. That's why I'm not explaining again the fingering. Uh, then we've got a G. Then we've got an A. And B minor again. And we go back to the B flat chord. Then a D again. 
and a D with the F-sharp on the bass, then an E with the G-sharp on the bass, and the next chord is a G, and an A, then a D, and a D with the C-sharp on the bass, then a B minor, then a G, then an A chord, and we go to the B minor again. And uh, there is a nice chord movement here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, if that's what John Petrucci plays, but I think it sounds really nice. Um, check out this. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm moving the bass notes of the chord to make this movement. Okay, so that's always a B minor, but the bass note is moving. Okay, so we got B minor, then the bass note is a C-sharp, so the fingering is nothing on thicker string, 4, 4, 4, 3, nothing on the first string, I'm using finger 3, uh, sorry, 2, 3, 4 and 1. Then we've got the D on the bass, it's nothing on thicker string, 5, 4, 4, 3, nothing on the first string, I'm using finger uh, 4, 2, 3 and 1. And then we've got this, which is now the E on the bass, nothing on the thicker string, 7, 9, 7. And I'm using finger 1, 3, and 1. My first finger bar the 7th fret. 7, 9, 7. Nothing on the thicker string and nothing on the too thinner string. So slowly it goes like this. You don't have to play that, that progression if you find it too difficult, but I think it sounds really nice. So now the last chords of the chord progression for the solo are G, E minor, and then we go to a C for two beats. So it's nothing on the thicker string, 3, 2, 0, 1, 0. I'm using finger 3, 2, and 1. And it's only two beats. So the time signature is now a 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight means 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. And then we go back to 12-8 for the two last chords, which are A sus 4 and A. Okay, so there are a lot of chords to memorize here. So uh, what, what I recommend is that you write them all down, okay, so that you can memorize the, the chord progression as you play along with me. And uh, let's try to play it slowly, just simple downstrings first. One, two, three, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three. Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, 
four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, again, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, two, three, two, two, three, six, eight, one, two, three, two, two, three, okay? Okay, so the last bit we need to check out with the outro. Uh, basically, the outro is just like the second part of the first chorus. Uh, so it goes like this. One, two, three. First chord is a D, and we've got this A with the D on the bass, same shape as the one we've seen before, and G, and E minor. Then we go back to D, A with the D on the bass, G, and A sus4, and A. So again, let's try to play it with the uh, rhythm that we've learned in the song. One, two, three. And that's it for the whole song. So this song is a great example of how you can move the bass notes of the chords within a song structure to create very nice harmonic movements. Um, as you probably noticed, there are a lot of chords to memorize, especially for the solo part. So you got to start off slowly and first just play the chords on the first bit of the bar and then you can start to introduce the rhythm part that we've seen in the tutorial. Um, I think that's it for today. Uh, please hit subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you later. Thanks, bye!